When we get to the airport, we find our plane to Simicot has been delayed. There are mechanical problems. Technicians are flown in from Nepal guns to repair the engine. I hope they know what they're doing. When I hear they're on the phone with Finland to get advice, I start thinking, maybe we won't be flying up to Simicot today. to rehearse some of the tango moves we learned in Argentina. And uh, <laughs> I laugh ironically at that. And there's the one where I end up like that, but I can't remember how to get there. <laughs> I can't remember any of this stuff. Eventually, the pilot gives us the go ahead. MJ and I sitting in the back of the plane with bags of rice and Sri Ram. We're flying into bigger and bigger mountains. By North American standards, it's actually quite a short distance from Kathmandu to Humla. But if you don't fly, it's a 26 day walk. <laughs> so that's a distance. As Sri Ram puts it, there are no motorable roads out here, just an ancient network of trails for people, goats, and yaks. We're entering the Humla district, sometimes referred to as the Hidden Himalayas. <laughs> 